Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Chrissy and I am back once again um, reacting to more stuff that B.I. has dropped. <laughs> he has really been feeding us with the concept films for his uh, first full album, Waterfall. And if any of you have not seen, I have reacted to all of his track films, the Waterfall performance film, just everything. Um, it should be up on my channel if you guys are interested in watching my reactions and my thoughts on B.I. and his whole come back with his first full album and all that stuff please go uh, on my channel and look for that however I have not seen yet um, he has dropped the lyric mood film and uh, so this says it's the Ila, it's called Ila Ila lyric mood film and then also from waterfall to Ila Ila so yeah so uh, anyways I I guess that's his title track, um, Ila Ila. I'm pretty sure that's what it what it's called. Um, but I have not seen these two videos yet, so I am going to uh, watch them now, and I'm excited to see what he's got. So let's do the. I think we're gonna do the the mood film first. Let's do this one because he's always serving us absolute art visual, and you guys know me with the water and the ocean. This is my jam. Wow. This man glows. He glows. At the end of my eyes is a beach. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Is that, we're just getting that? Oh my god, I need more. I need more, but look at how beautiful. Oh! He's so stunning. It's gross. How can someone be that attractive? I don't get it. All I know is I'm just so here for this whole waterfall, um, seaside, like beach type thing going on for this concept. Um, this one is the waterfall to Ila Ila. So let's watch this and see what this is. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 Uh, uh, oh, oh, he's working hard. He said, Welcome to my label. Oh, my God. Okay, I have thoughts. Oh, wait, we're not done. Oh, what is this? Oh. Oh, I was getting into that beat real quick. This sounds like album of the year. Ooh. Oh my god, the visual the visual artistry of this entire everything that he's been doing. Look at that shot. Oh, Guys, I have I have so many thoughts, okay? I really do. I've already kind of talked about this, um, so I'm not going to, like, stay too much on the topic. But you guys know that I just, I feel it in my bones that this is going to be a contender for, like, uh, album of the year. He, based off of the concept film, like, the track films and listening to, like, little snippets of the tracks, it just sounds like such a well-rounded, just, like, versatile throw in all different types of genres but make it masterpiece album and i'm so freaking pumped for it this beat for illa illa is really giving me everything like it's giving me the nostalgic vibes that i always look for in my music and i just know bi is gonna deliver however i have to say because i wasn't thinking about this and actually one of my one of my really good friends if you guys don't know her um here on youtube her name is raquel goldie um you can go check out her channel she is the best um she actually was we were talking about how uh i'm pretty sure yg like for icon icons um I believe their contract is up next year. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I was like, she she mentioned, and I, I was kind of wondering about this. I'm like, do you think that there's a chance ever that Icon would like dip from YG and go to BI's label? Because she mentioned that to me and I was like, wait a second. 
you might be onto something here. And now I can't stop thinking about the fact that I just really need um, them to be on B.I.'s label. And I know that this is not like an icon thing right now because we're talking about B.I. and this is Hanbin's moment and like this is what we're going to do. But I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? And I keep thinking about that, um, especially where I was talking about in the last uh, couple track film reactions that he hadn't put who the features are for some of his tracks. And I was like, just like Bobby, because Bobby had um, like DK on his album. He had a couple of the members on his album do features. And I was like, what if B.I. had a couple of the Icon members as features on his album? And that's why now my brain can't stop thinking about the potential of Icon maybe dipping from YG and going back to BI. And it's kind of like making me emo. <laughs> but I was just wondering what you guys thought about it. Um, overall, back to like the actual concept of uh, this album and everything. Uh, it's it's going to be incredible. The hype up for his album is, is there. People are so excited about it. Uh, I know that the album is going to do numbers. I haven't checked to see uh, how many pre-orders he's gotten yet. But um, to be honest, though, it doesn't really matter anyway, because uh, art and making an impact and being iconic, legendary does not have to do with numbers, in my opinion. So um, whatever the case, I just know for me, I can already feel that this is going to be in the running for one of the best albums um, of the year, in my own personal opinion. So I'm excited for it. And of course, once again, it is the 28th uh, today. And so we have like three, three or four more days until the release. I am so excited. And I hope y'all are getting pumped. I hope you guys are ready to support B.I., my boy, my baby boy. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to put on the notification bell for more uh, YG fam stuff because I do react to a lot of YG family uh, artists here. Well, not YG anymore, B.I.'s label. But, you know, if you guys are in the YG fam coming from with B.I., I do react to a lot of stuff. So please put on the notification bell. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. And uh, have a wonderful day or night. And I will see you guys next time. I love y'all. Bye. Mwah.